two days out from the fifth and final Ashes test, both Australia and England trained at the Oval. Up first were the Aussies, who have retained the Ashes with the win at Old Trafford and showed no signs of complacency in the field. The bowling attack from Manchester did not practice given the short turnaround between tests and for the first time on tour, Steve Smith did not hit a ball at training when fully fit. But after the series he's had, Langer is not surprised Smith needed a spell. Let's hope he keeps loving it in the next test match. He's still got plenty to tick off. He's got some goals. I know he's got some strong goals for this series and moving forward. But he's, uh, I'd say, after spending that much time in the middle and the emotions of the last game, sometimes with batters, you just need to, it's more a mental, um, mental rest than anything else. Got a feeling he might hit a few balls tomorrow though. Australia are yet to settle on a team for the fifth test, with the pitch and fatigue levels of Pat Cummins and Josh Hayeswood set to determine the final 11. England practised in the afternoon and all eyes were on Ben Stokes and his injured right bowling shoulder. Stokes will be assessed over the coming days and should he not be fit to bowl, he will play as a specialist batter, with one of Sam Curran or Chris Wokes to replace a batter in the top seven. While there is not expected to be any retirements at the Oval like there were four years ago, the fifth test will be the last for outgoing England coach Trevor Bayliss, who leaves the position after four years in charge with the World Cup under his belt. On one hand, you know, sad to be leaving the job. It's been a, you know, it's been a fantastic, um, you know, personally it's been a fantastic environment to work in. Um, everyone's made me feel at home. Um, yeah, from a, from a cricket sense, yeah, you know, we've we've had a lot of good performances. Um, you know, obviously the cherry on top with the the World Cup uh, win. So, but look, I am looking forward to getting home. But I think it's uh, you know I've never stayed anywhere more than four or five years, and you know it's time for time for someone else to come in and you know a new voice for the for the team.